Hey students, I wanted to make sure that I ran through the solutions to the homework that I assigned last Friday on forces just to make sure that we're on the same page. So the way I'm going to be solving these problems is the M, the F, the angle theta. These are all going to be considered givens and uh, I'm going to use them as variables and only plug in numbers at the very end of the problem. So if, as far as I'm concerned we have M is 5.00 kilograms. Theta is 25 degrees. And this pulling force is 12 newtons. And we're just going to use those numbers at the very end of the problem. So from the perspective we want to work from an AP, I have the normal on little m due to the floor. I have the weight of little m due to the earth. I have the F on m because it's being pulled. And I can actually split these into two components. Uh, the F sine theta component and the F cosine theta component. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my equations based on these uh, variables. So we want to know what is the magnitude of F just before the block is lifted completely off the floor. So it turns out there is a trick that we use for problems like this. So it says just before the block is lifted, whenever you read that in an AP problem. In fact, I'm going to change the color on that because I really want to make this point because it, it happens a lot in the AP with force questions. So this little thing just before the block is lifted completely off the floor. Well, if the block is just about to leave the floor, it's no longer touching the floor. And that tells us that the normal force is zero. So now what I'll do is I'll set up the vertical force equation in the y direction using Newton's second law. So I have the normal um, acting on the mass from the floor. I also have the vertical component of the force pulling up on it. And opposing these two forces is the weight pointing downwards. And the effect of all three of these is that the forces end up canceling. Now, the trick here is that this normal force is zero because the block is just about to leave the floor. So what this tells us is that F sine theta, in fact, equals M times G. So that's the Y equation. Now, in the X direction, um, what and actually um, it says what is the magnitude of the blocks acceleration and um, we can talk about all that so I just realized I'm doing part B first let me go back and do part A first if I'm going to do part A first I have F times the cosine of theta equals MA because that's just the force so I can actually write F cosine theta divided by M equals A and I can plug 12 newtons and 25 degrees in the formula and M is 5 and that'll get me the acceleration. For B um, I just got that force. Now when I actually want to solve for the magnitude of the force the value changes from 12 to mg divided by the sine of theta. And what this then does is it changes um, part C, when I want to get the acceleration, I still use the equation F times the cosine of theta equals MA. But now I have a value for F that I solve for in B that I substitute into here. So I'm going to end up getting MG over sine theta times the cosine of theta equals MA. When I simplify all of this, I'm actually going to end up getting that A is g times the tan the cotangent of theta. So that is the solution 
um, two parts A, B, and C. If you want to check your work against mine, you'll need to actually plug in the numbers um, to see what you get. So that is question number one.